Hello, Wealth Lab 8 users, Glitch here. Today, we are going to talk about what's new in Wealth Lab 8 Build 33. So, for Build 33, there's a lot of enhancements and fixes, so I won't go through all of the details here. Please check the release log for detailed information on all of that, but I do want to cover uh, the main new thing that we implemented for Build 33. And that is, let's open up a chart. Uh, let's maximize that chart. We have SPY here. Let's switch to a one minute scale on SPY. And, ooh, SPY is coming down a little now. Let's turn on streaming. So here I'll click my trade ear streaming. And we have streaming data now and the streaming chart toolbar. Uh, previously, this toolbar was related to strategies that were drag and dropped into the chart. Now this toolbar space is dedicated to features of the streaming chart that let you place trades from the chart, uh, draw tradable drawing objects, and manage your position size for all of those trades and a dropped strategy all from one central location. So let's take a look here at what's different. So the first thing here, we have this uh, button that was there previously, remove an attached strategy. So if you had happened to drag a strategy onto the chart, let's say, for example, this one. We can click here to remove that strategy. So the strategy is removed from the chart. Uh, next, we have a new button here in the streaming chart toolbar. This this eye icon here, view live order lines. So what is this? Let's go to the order manager and let's place an order. We think Spy will come back to to penetrate this 399 on the upside and we want to enter a buy at stop at that level. So we're going to buy 10 SPY at a stop of 399 and then we're going to place that order. So you notice immediately here on the chart a line shows up here indicating that we have a buy 10 at stop of 399 for SPY. So that corresponds to the order that I just entered here in the order manager. Uh, another nice thing now with these limit and stop order lines. Well, first of all, if you wanna hide these lines, you can click that I that I talked about earlier. But let's say we feel we wanna position this order like just above this region here. So when I moved and dragged that line, that live order line, it actually canceled the stop order and replaced it automatically. So you can drag and drop these live order lines to uh, manage your stop and limit orders manually right on the chart. So a pretty cool feature. If I click this cancel button here, it will cancel the order. And once canceled, this live order line will slowly fade away until it eventually disappears just to give you a little bit of time to notice that that order was canceled. So those are the live order lines. Next, we have a checkbox here, enable, enable live trade buttons. If I turn that off, it basically disables all of these buttons, uh, preventing you from accidentally placing these orders because here you can change your position size. Let's go to a fixed quantity. Uh, let's say we want to buy 11 shares of SPY. So when I click this buy, it immediately places the buy order. And we could see here that it was filled. We could also place limit and stop orders. So instead of doing it from the order manager, we can place orders directly from the chart. So very cool. Uh, let me cancel this one out. Finally, we have a couple of new drawing objects that appear in the streaming toolbar. Normally, 
all of our drawing objects appear over here on this drawing object toolbar. But for these drawing objects, they appear in the streaming toolbar because they are tradable drawing objects. When uh, I draw one of these, for example, this horizontal line, I can enter an order. So when the price either closes above, closes below, crosses above, or crosses below. I want to say crosses above. As soon as the price crosses above this value, we are going to buy. So here is my tradable horizontal line. If prices cross that, it will buy as long as I activate it. Notice here this arrow. That means it's currently deactivated. So if I click here, I will activate that order. So let's see if we can get it to execute. What if I drag it like right down here? Let's see if the price can cross above 398.41. Do you think we'll have an upside breakout here in SPY? Ooh, we're close. Very close. Almost just a little bit more. There we go. Price crossed above our horizontal line. Uh, we got an error though, not enough uh, equity in the account. So my dummy broker account is maxed out, so it could not actually place the order. What if we change it to a sell? So let's say we want to sell when price crosses above that line. We'll activate it first, here we go. So the order is activated, and there we go. Submitted, uh, filled at 398.38. So the sell order was filled. So that is the tradable horizontal line. I'm going to delete that. Next, we have a tradable trend line. So that's this guy right here. If I create a trend line, I can add a order trigger, just like we could with the horizontal line. So when price crosses above, let's go crosses above, uh, the value we want to, let's sell again, let's sell a little bit of the position, say five shares. So here we go. So we are selling five when the price crosses above this trend line. And if I move the trend line down, the price of this, trigger will descend appropriately. When the price eventually crosses above that trend line, the order will be placed. Whenever a new bar arrives in the streaming chart, that trend line and the trigger value will automatically update. So I dragged the line down a little because SPY is selling off. So let's see. Okay, now the price finally crossed above that downsloping trend line and it triggered and sold the position. So there we go. Tradable trend lines, tradable horizontal lines in WealthLab 8. So I hope you enjoy the new chart trading capabilities. We have a lot more in store for future builds coming up, a lot of good stuff. So stay tuned. Um, thanks for watching everyone and see you all on the forums.